Um, when I when I went to his course last weekend, basically this is the model that he had us practice on. All the attendants, I was the only non-doctor, obviously, but he guided my hand as I did this with the piezo knife. And then you're going to start going in, but in a kind of brush strokes from from the bottom up. Like you put in a little pressure, and this way until you go all the way in, and it, you'll feel and this it is drop. with the square. Uh, with the square, but this one will be the either. same thing, really. <laughs> so, go ahead, let's try. You kind of press and swipe up, so away from the teeth. Uh, so, go ahead, keep going. Yeah, you see how it kind of dropped in? Mm -hmm. So, usually at that point, uh, I will, I would always go this way because this just gives me a better angle. Okay. So, go ahead. And then you could just go all the way like this. Yeah, exactly. And that's okay. it. And that's, that's the extent of the front cut. And here, this, you know, this is pretty simple. It's the same thing. Press. So yeah, essentially, I don't, don't, don't press in one spot because it'll burn. So you, you gotta, you gotta keep going, uh, kind of back and forth until, until this goes in all the way. So, and then again, you, this is this at this angle. So you essentially want to go almost the full, full, full length of the blade in the direction of the nasal spine. Essentially, okay. essentially, you are kind of almost connecting them the two. Okay. And then you do, you know, little perforations. The bone will feel exactly like that. Yeah, perfect. That's it. But you're really wanting to go. No, you don't want to go any higher than what you have. Well, no, but just depth wise. Yeah, depth wise you want to go just to, just the size of this blade. Maybe maybe just a millimeter deeper than that. Okay. So you're essentially gonna be meeting the two points. That's the goal to connect right. those two cuts. I right? don't think it's a goal because all everything in between is a is a cancellous bone. So that's really not a problem. Mm -hmm. You you're primarily releasing the major bulk of the cortical bone. And that's where most of your uh, most of your resistance to expansion is. Gotcha. Even even here, it's not that much. Right. I've experimented a few times. I did just a nasal cut, and, and a couple of times I did just a palatal cut, oh. and uh, I know they both worked. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. uh, again, I.